Hello, YouTube again, and while this is Justice and Matt here on the Hello. Team Ender Gaming Build Server, and well, I'm gonna make an about today, and you guys may be wondering why I built the giant pillar of magenta wool going up. Well, that's because when I build, when I like, well, I found that building boats above, like building the hull above water, is much easier than building it in the water. Cause then you, and especially when you have world edit, and you can just world everything. In. Okay. Um. When you build it, go out this way, so it'll match with the um. I the can box. always rotate it in the. Oh, okay. With the you, you can do that. You can do that. Okay. So like, it's I the way I build boats and airships in Minecraft is I start them off. I actually do it similar to the way um. Real ships are made in life. In real life. So, well, I've already mapped out the dimensions for how wide and uh, how big and wide the docks are. So it's 31 blocks long, and it has a max width of... Oh, yeah, the servers it has a max width of 11. So, even the server's a fanboy. <laughs> you know I did that on <laughs> so. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So you got. I can always make health for you. I can kick you if I want to. So you want to have this kind. So you want to get the shape of a boat. Okay, I'm gonna get the so, Well, let's make sure. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, wait, maybe let's extend that so it's a little more, that, yeah, 21, 22, okay, um, then let's just bring this up and then go out like that, because that, that doesn't matter because it's going to be dangling off into the ocean, so now that you got this, you want to replicate the pattern you did for the butt, and you want to put it there and like there. On like bigger airships, like humongous airships, you want to do it a lot more than just two. Oh, holy crap, that does not look right. Okay, so like you want maybe if you want the boat to be wider, you extend this out and then you go up and then. Yeah. See, and so a lot of this is sort of trial and error. <clears throat> you could, like, go first time and get something you really like, or you could get something that looks like crap. But <laughs> eventually, if you just keep trying it, you'll get something. Like, like they say, practice makes perfect. Sure? That was pretty cheesy. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That was the worst confidence speech I have ever heard. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Not as bad as one Pinocchio gives, though. Oh, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was funny. You have potential. That's probably some yes. copyright or something, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, so that, and then you want to sort of um, make like connect these up evenly, or not evenly, depending on how you build it. And you just want to make it give it a nice shape. Well, this in the front, you want to do the same thing, but you want it to sort of slope in more shallowly. Like, no, less, like, less steep. Like, over there, just sort of, but over here, you want to go sort of lounge away. Don't question. <laughs> and then let's get rid of that for now, actually. We'll add that back later if we want. Well, this is just the hull and really it's not important at all so like the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna build a hull on camera then I'm gonna go off camera to copy and paste it into the ocean well, well how about you show them how you do that oh yeah I guess I could I'm just in some sense. and like another thing that's very trial and error -y is um, um, copying and pasting that's why well, yeah, I'll show you my technique when I'm done. 
But also in the halls of boats, sometimes it's cool to use stained clay of some color that sort of matches. So I think I'm going to use hmm, maybe light gray stained clay a little bit and some brown. And then also the wood choice you choose is important. Because you like say you want it to be something that contrasts the wood you used, like the logs you used. So like see that's jungle wood, oak, spruce, birch, and then there's also dark oak and acacia. Well, I don't like acacia for boats most of the time, and I think I'm gonna go because this wood I because the logs I used are. Um, I use spruce, so they have a dark bark. So I'm probably gonna go for something a little lighter, like oak and jungle wood, because birch is just too light and it doesn't work. But it's important that you get colors that you like. So I think I'm actually gonna stick with the pattern that I've got there, just sort of do like sort of outline the main beam with um, planks, and then continue with the pattern from there. So, a lot of this is just basically trying to get the curves right. It sounds so sort of strange, but it's true. You want to get the curves, and you want to get your shape, because the, the, that's the most important thing. Like, you see, that's a little too blocky right now. So, eventually, when I come down and I do the um, the front of the boat, the I don't, I'm not a very nautical person, so I have no idea what it's called. But, Wait, the front of the boat? Yeah. That's called a bow. Oh, yeah. What's the back? The steer? I think it's stern. I'm stern. not sure. I, I remember Maybe that's left or right. I don't know. What does a I, I remember a few things about okay. boating. What I learned in boating school is... Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Two story. Yep. So Once you, you just take sort of, a Boy Scout building thing, and I, you have to remember one thing. One thing. Not, I can't remember shit sometimes. <laughs> I think the, yeah. the most that we have learned was probably about how to fuel. That's actually important. How to what? How to fuel a boat. Oh. <laughs> no, it doesn't sound important, but apparently it is. How to put a gas... So basically they taught you how to put a canister of gas tube into the tank of your engine. Okay. Yep. <laughs> well, I guess that's sort of important if you that, don't... That's, it's not a requirement, but the camp just was like, nope, you gotta learn how to fuel the boat if you want to drive it. I'm well, like, it sure. sort of makes sense, because if I'm you like, don't... sure, sure, I'll fuel it. <laughs> like... Then the next day when they're about to drive it, it freaking breaks down. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, crap. Of course, they give you, like, the worst of the worst boats to do this kind of stuff. And it was actually one of the fastest boats that their camp has ever seen. It It's called the, um, I forget what it's called, but it has a, like, 79 Mustang engine in it. Why? I don't know. But the thing what is, kind of camp are you at? Like race boating? Nope. Both, both racing? It's more of a military style camp. I don't know why, but oh. it, it, it's the food's crap. But of course it is. If it's military <laughs> style, it has to be crap. Like, they actually served one real meal, and that was turkey. That was turkey. <laughs> they probably From picked the it up, up off of the streets, too. Yeah, just roadkill. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a nice merchant house done, if you want to check that out. It's tiny. It's a shop. Okay, fine. Okay, um, I'm not sure if I like the... It looks good, because then you got that place to sort of... I don't like the um, hay on top. Like, any recommendations? Well, if you should... Like, like maybe pull it out. The hay's fine, but you should make the roof a little more pronounced. Like, make it peak. Like if well, you sort of... I, I like it at this point. Okay. Well, hold on. I, I'm getting off track. Okay. okay. So well, now you can see the shape of the boat. Tarp's yeah. starting to form. 
I'll do no pay at all. So this doesn't look right. And then you just gotta connect them up. Connect up the and you wanna like so the curvature you made with the with the logs you wanna continue all throughout the boat. And you just sort of wanna make sure there's no gaps. And then you wanna make sure they they look the same on both sides. Um and Maybe if this looks a little too flat there, add like a block there or something. But I think this is just about ready to be copied and pasted into the water. I'm not going to copy and paste it into the actual docks yet. I'm just going to put it in the water just for the sake of the video. Okay. So. Let me see well, this. Okay, it looks a wee bit too wide and a wee bit too short. No, oh, never mind. It wasn't rendering. Okay, this looks good. No, it wasn't. It rendering. just wasn't rendering. It was like <laughs> you got yeah, half the boat like, here. It was like half. up to here, like where, like where I'm standing. It was not rendering until I was like over here. Oh. I was like, okay, then this actually does look nice, but this part, I would probably go. Yeah, I'm gonna extend that. Hold like on. Like a wee bit. Of, nah, nah, nah. Like that. I know. This is my video. Get back, back, you foul demon. Hey, fine. Back, back. Yeah. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I think that'll look a bit better like that. <laughs> I, I want to do this so bad. What are you going to do? Nothing. Stay out. Okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're a horrible person. I know. Okay. So, well, when you're copying and pasting, it's important to have, like, a block to like get your bearings with uh, I just dropped it. Okay. So orange wool normally works. Well any any block work. So you're gonna wanna um make sure you have the entire thing. So you wanna go maybe mm. over from the front of the boat all the way so you're like at least a block two a, one block away from the side. So this so like this plane is clear, but this one is the block. And then so you want to go from the back of the boat and go out like maybe one block or two blocks or something just to be safe and then go out the opposite direction as the way you did in the front. So then you one like either right click or left click there and then right and then left click there. So well this part's important. Now you want to find out where your boat should sit in the water. So well, I think mine should probably be about the water line should go there. Or maybe I think right there works well. So you know you're gonna have to go two blocks underwater. So and well now this is the most important thing. So you wanna stand in probably you're gonna want to stand here and then and when you type slash copy because that's what what oh yeah slash slash copy, sorry. so then when you do that that's so when you go slash slash paste the boat will form exactly the way you were standing so if i did slash slash paste the boat would boom right here just the way it is right now so now you want to go into the water so well, since this boat needs to be rotated so what you're going to have to do is slash slash rotate 90 and then if I do slash slash paste right here you'll see it's rotated 90 degrees undo will get rid of it, you're going to have to do that a lot then you rotate 90 again and then probably again and then paste it and then yep see it's in the right direction so now you're going to want to go down to the bottom of the ocean. Which, turn off the rain! Oh, jeez. This is really dark. Okay. Um, I don't know what's happening. Okay, I figure I can see now. Now we can turn off these shaders. No. Shaders are too pretty. <laughs> okay. So now let's actually see what happens. So you're going to... Let's go down. I, I said the water level was two blocks down, so let's go here. Slash slash 
paste. Boom. The water should fill itself in. And there, as you can see, the boat is in the water with the water level where I wanted it. And, um, well, that's just what you need to do. So, well, you can, well, then you'll probably want to go and cut that one out. But, so, I'm going to skip that for right now. But if the water doesn't fix itself, you can do, there's a command. I think it's slash slash fix water 90, and that's the radius. So maybe let's do some something smaller. I, uh, I don't think we maybe have it's, that. I don't think we have that. We don't? No. I thought that was a world edit command. No, I don't think so. What is it then? What is it I then? don't know. <laughs> I know that we don't have much oh, commands. Right. I still need to find the plugin that gives us more commands. Yeah. Single player commands doesn't work anymore. Yeah, because that's annoying. Because I sh wait. Slash fix. Slash slash fix. Yeah, I guess that was single player commands. Oh well. Well, that's sort of sad. But you well, if you don't have single player commands or anything, if you're doing this on a single player world, then you will. You have to have single player commands. So like if the water's not fixed, ah ah, don't do that. Just um try and put it around. It's sort of trippy because this water is actually um like wavy because of the shaders I have. Yeah. But yeah. Um so next you're gonna want to make your deck. So you have to ch you wanna ch ah ah okay. You're gonna well, probably want to use half slab, so I used I used oak and jungle wood there. So I'm probably gonna want to use spruce and maybe dark oak and use a pattern up here. So like right down the center, we can do dark oak, and then fill in the sides with. Um, spruce. So, it's, this part is a little more fun, I guess you could say, because it's a little less trial and error, you just really have to, uh, find out a shape you like. Well, once you get the shape you like, it's basically just building it. Well, the, actually, take that back. This is actually the hardest part, because the sail has to come on now. So, hold on. That even work. Um, you know I have this to eternal day and zero. Yep. Well, it's like eternal dusk. I'm sad. A thousand. Are you happier? Much happier, yes. But we're gonna have to turn that off because things look pretty at night too. But so we've got so like now you've got hey, it's not that pretty when no one can see anything. Okay. So now you want to find. So this is a the uh I don't know. It's a bigish boat. So you're not um. So now you have, well this is the harder part. You have to decide what kind of sails you want to use. So like you could have a triangular sail like the classic one like that I have over on my boat, like the smaller one I built around my around the castle I made. And or you could have a large rectangular rectangular sail, which I, I think, think is what I'm gonna go for here. Yeah, go for one that looks like a it'd be a pirate ship. Yeah. Oh hey, so, I can kick you from console too. Hey, stop it! <laughs> I ain't gonna do it this time. That one is for lols. Okay, so well, once you get the mast, you want to make the mast probably higher than your than you want it to because mass the sails on ships are actually really large. So now you've got that. Well, wool's a good thing to make sails out of, I think. So Wool or snow. Either one. They like both they both they both look good. So now you want to go out like that. Make sure it's even on both sides. Like if this ship is docked, like it's going to be like you might want to have it rolled up and just have it sort of like that but since I'm doing this for the video you probably don't care you'd probably rather see it um, 
f like furled out. So well, right now I'm just making it ugly, not like curvy at all because, um, well yeah. I will. It's just <laughs> not now. Yeah, to get it started, you want to uh, you want to just start off with rough shapes because doing the other stuff that you will have to do eventually. Oh, I'm stupid. That doesn't go there. <clears throat> okay. So doing the other things that you will have to do eventually, it's just easier once you've got a rough shape of it out. So you just got to do this. So just keep placing blocks and placing blocks and placing blocks and placing blocks. Okay. Probably use world edit to fill in the center of it. But so I can go like boop to... Boom, slash, slash, set. I think it's 35. Yep, I'm right. Okay. Oops. This has to go. Okay. So now you've got, like, your sail, but it looks like crap. So you're going to want to... Oh, no. Uh, what did you do? I made it too thick. That's not good enough. Uh -huh. You don't even know how to do the tutorial properly. Yes, I do. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Okay. You're so doing you. Good job. So now you want to probably bring it out like that, and then like, so like, add. So basically, go to the back, and then add what you want to be taken away on the front. So and then, and then you, well, you don't have to mirror it. It just I'm mirroring it because I like things nice. And even. Oh, city. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and so it just you're just trying to give the sail a bit more curvature than it had in the beginning. So as you can see, that already sort of looks better. Thank God you said that to false because bad things. Yeah, I just remembered. <laughs> Cause I'm, I I am gonna have fire in mine for the bakery. Yeah, how are you gonna bake bread? With sunlight. I mean, who does that? Um, Egyptians. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and now you've got this, and so it looks nice and curvy at the top, so it looks like the wind is blowing in it, like it should. And then you got to repeat that pattern, which, oh crap, I don't know if I can. There you go. Why didn't you, what? Just put coal in, man. Come on. Be old school. Oh. So I don't have to... Be old school! Yeah. Old school! Okay. What did you do for the roof over here? Huh? I'm sorry this is a distraction, but I just need to see. Yeah, you can change it if you want. Okay. Oh. <laughs> really? <coughs> that just bothered you? Yes, it did bother me. I, uh, I, don't think it looks, okay. I, don't, I don't think it looks medieval enough, but it's simple. Turn fire, take back on. No. Turn it back on. You know what? This will catch fire too, and then all the wool, wool could catch fire. Yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> <clears throat> I burnt your house down. Okay. Um, well, I just went all fireman on it. No. But we should actually turn, like, you should put out that fire, and we should turn do fire tick on, and we should just burn this boat. Um, that would be awesome to record. If we can speed yeah. it up a bit, that would be awesome. <laughs> Just to yeah, time When I'm done, like when I'm yeah, done. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's take, so it's three there, three there. Yeah. And then on this layer, no. I'll go through and I'll add the stuff in the back first. So it goes over, up, up. Okay. Okay. And then that's gone two. Wait, is that three? Yes, that's gone three. Okay. So now you've got to go to the back and add back the wool that you want. Just like that. Okay, I'm back. Well, that was unexpected, but, um, well, we're still doing the sale here, 
So you come over to this side, that's off like three. That's off three. Then you come up off four. And then goes over two and then up one. No. And then like that, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So now this is the sale just about finished. So we're not gonna so this torture is over. But I think it looks pretty nice. So now we gotta go over to the back of the sale and um, maybe take some of those and some slabs and um, make like a cross beam there and just sort of anchor the sail down to it. Just to make it look that much more touch of realism. And then you want to do the same thing on the bottom. And then the sale will be complete. So boom, 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 boom. There. So now we have the deck to worry about. So, to make the railing that goes around the boat, like in the back, I might want to go up with spruce, the logs, one more here and there, like that in the back. And then go through and take maybe spruce wood planks, I guess. I think those look nice. And then you just sort of follow the contour of the ship. That one's going to be a pain, but no, no, it's not, never mind. So, once you've got this back railing done, you might want to go and take, for say, let's, for, like, say, um, oak, and put those there. So that's the back, and maybe you want to do a similar thing on the front, but, well, this has got to come up like Matt was freaking out at me before about. But, so then you bring that up, and bring it out, well, and then I think I'm going to put here, and on the front of the ship, it's going to also be raised, just to sort of give it some extra shapes that look nice. Okay, so this should probably be a stair. Well, this part is probably a little less entertaining because it's just me going back and forth. Oh, crap. It's supposed to be spruce. I was right. Okay. So, there. Now it's nice. And now what you want to do is for the center of the boat, you... Ugh, even more unexpected things. But, that won't stop me. So now you want to continue this around, just to get that nice curvature of the boat. Put that up there, that up there, finish that off. Probably put stairs there, just to give that, that. And I think I could even go with stairs, upside down stairs right there. And here, and here. Huh? There. Okay. So now you're going to want to... Well, now, basically, that's all I'm going to do, because the rest of it is either, like, basically just filling it with cargo to make it look realistic, and basically, yeah, decorations. I'm sure you guys can figure that out on your own. So, thanks for watching, and, well, yeah. So Subscribe to the channel if you want to to build more on this and give a download. Yeah, because there will be much more. Of <laughs> it's gonna this take map a while. Maybe like a couple months. Yeah, I don't know. It's but massive. Mm-hmm. We'll uh, start. We're gonna hopefully try and update and post videos somewhat regularly whenever something important happens, or like this when I'm building something that should That's be. Common. Yeah, like, 
either people seem to have trouble with or it would just be helpful. So, well, thanks for watching and um, keep an eye out for more of these videos because they will be coming. So, goodbye.